Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. This is Pradeep and you're watching Blog of Note. So if people ask me, what's your most preferred Apple product? I always tell them it's the iPad. Specifically, it's the iPad Pro. And so when we had some rumors about the next generation iPad Pro, I thought we'd make this video about three reasons why I think you're going to want to wait for this one. It's going to be special. Let's get started. First of all, we had a leak link in the description right next to that like button from Patently Apple saying that Apple has entered mass production with LG for their mini LED displays to be found on the next generation iPad, which is going to come in the first quarter of 2021, the iPad Pro X. Now, what's interesting here is that Apple is going to complete production by the end of 2020. So this iPad is definitely coming in the first quarter of next year. What are the three main reasons why you want to wait for this iPad? First, obviously, is the mini LED display. Now, without going too deep into display technology nerddom, here are the various displays currently on the market. First, you have an LCD display. It's on the Apple iPad as of now. And while I appreciate the higher refresh rate, I'm not a fan of the strain it causes on your eyes. Above LCD, you have Quantum LED. That's Quantum Dot LED or QLED. It's pioneered by Samsung. And while it still has a backlight, at least it's not as bad as LCD. Above QLED, you have Mini LED. Yes, I know, Mini LED is smaller than Quantum Dot LED go figure, but mini LED has local dimming, it's better for your eyes, it's higher contrast, it has better colors and it's brighter and it's also more power efficient. Above mini LED, you have OLED. Apple currently uses OLED on their iPhone 12 Pro, 12 Pro Max, iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 mini. Thank you very much, Apple. And above OLED, you have micro LED. That's the gold standard. It's probably going to come to Apple devices in early 2023. The second reason why I'm excited for the iPad Pro X is obviously because of the A14X processor. See, in a couple of days, we're going to get the A14X processor in the MacBook Air and probably the MacBook Pro 13. Here's some context. Last year, Apple gave us the 16-inch MacBook Pro and that MacBook Pro with a Core i9-9880H has a single core score on Geekbench 5 of about 1096 and a multi-core score of about 6900. When you compare that to a leaked Geekbench score of the Apple A14X processor, it has a single core score of about 1,600 and a multi-core score of about 7,200. This is an eight core processor. It has a maximum clock speed of 3.1 gigahertz with eight GB of RAM. It's going to be absolutely mind blowing. The third and most important reason why I think you should wait for the iPad Pro X is because of the full professional applications. Apple introduced Rosetta 1 in 2006 when they were moving from PowerPC over to Intel and now they've introduced Rosetta 2 to move from Intel over to ARM or Apple's own custom silicon. What's interesting here is that Apple has always done hardware and software together. For a while now, Apple's hardware has been absolutely excellent. But when it comes to software, specifically on the iPad, we have not had pro level applications. Hopefully, by mid of next year, we should have a full pro level application from Apple on their iPad Pro. It might be Final Cut or it might be Logic, but either which ways, I'm super excited for it. So there you have it guys, 10 years after the introduction of the original iPad, we are definitely going to get the iPad Pro X. It's going to have mini LED display, it's going to have Apple A14X processor, and it's going to have pro level applications. I for one cannot wait. Drop your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please go over to YouTube and subscribe to the Vlog of Note channel. Ring that notification bell so that you never miss a video and I will see you guys in the next episode.